Hi, I'm Sheila Simon here at the SIU School of Law. We're happy to have you join us here today. I'm a teacher here at the SIU School of Law and here with one of my former students, one of our outstanding alums, uh, Delio Calzolari. Hello, my name is Delio Calzolari and I work on campus at the Paul Simon Public Policy Institute. We are a think tank uh, at SIU where we study public policy and within our study of public policy we also make available some opportunities to students. I am an 07 alum and I'm also one of Sheila's former students. And we had a good time uh, together as a teacher-student pair and Delio is one of my student workers partly because we share a passion for a public policy uh, and both of us have been engaged in that over the course of our careers. Uh, I took a little time out from teaching here at the law school uh, to serve as Lieutenant Governor of Illinois uh, during that time, I'm pleased to report Delio was one of my staff members. Uh, we think it's a nice combination, law and public policy, and the school opens up lots of opportunities uh, for students to engage in that kind of study. I was attracted to SIU Law School. I was actually living in California, originally from Illinois. I was living in uh, Dana Point, California when I was applying to law schools. What drew me to Southern Illinois from uh, a very, very nice uh, beach community in uh, <laughs> Southern California was uh, the existence of the Paul Simon Institute. There's some, uh, at the time there were some organic collaborations, now we've uh, formalized more of those programs, but also one of the things I thought about, particularly having applied to and been accepted to schools in California, was my debt load once I would get out of law school. And I made the decision to come to SIU. Um, I'm also a veteran, and for the veterans out there who are watching this, um, if you're from Illinois, there's a very generous Illinois Veterans Grant, and I used the Illinois Veterans Grant cover um, most of the cost of my my education here but even without that we are very SIU is a very reasonably uh, priced school uh, related to other law schools so I made the decision to pack up a U-Haul and move from California to come to Carbondale and uh, get my education here and I made the right call because after law school I left with minimal debt which allowed me to do some things that I wanted to do that were not the most lucrative um, Right off the bat, I worked on President Obama's campaign starting in Iowa in the primary, um, unpaid in the beginning. Uh, but don't think that you, you're going to be rich working campaigns, <laughs> but, uh, but was able to work a, a whole year. Had I had student loan debt, that wouldn't have been able to happen. And Delio has exposed one of the key flaws of the law school here. We're not on an ocean. Uh, here in Southern <laughs> Illinois, but we do have some advantages. Uh, and one of the neat things for me as a teacher here is the, the community that we build here and being able to get to know folks like Delio uh, and the rest of my students. Uh, I'm going to be leaving later today to go to court. Uh, no, not court today. Anyway, to go meet with clients in West Frankfort, Illinois. Uh, students here have an opportunity to, to serve clients while they're in law school to learn by doing uh, in one of our many clinics. Uh, and just the, the close connection between students their colleagues and the law school faculty here uh, is a pretty pretty neat thing that I don't have that I don't think happens everywhere even though we don't have that ocean. <laughs> um, one of the other you do get the opportunity in, from the student perspective of uh, forming relationships with uh, a lot of the professors here and it really it helps your education but it also helps you professionally after you leave um, both in networking but also in uh, referencing and I I know of several cases where a professor has contacted a former student knowing about another former student looking for someone to fill a role and basically saying, you know, bringing them together, maybe also recommending the student to, to the employer. Uh, the, and the reason, one of the other reasons that happens is the skill set you'll walk out of SIU with is pretty solid, uh, particularly legal writing. It's got a very strong legal writing program, um, which when I was a student here, they would tell us about, but you really don't see it until you're out in the practicing world or public policy in my case, uh, but you definitely see examples of it once you're out in, in the working world, and I think that's why alum will recruit other alum from SIU, because they know they'll have that legal writing skill. Uh, a little bit, you know, solid, solid doctrinal classes as well, but that legal writing skill is that flexible skill you can always apply to any uh, case you're working on, or even if you're not working on a case. It's like, well, I work mainly in the public policy arena, there's been a lot of persuasive writing, there's been uh, statute writing as well, and I felt like SIU gave me those skills. He's just teasing it because uh, I was his legal writing professor. <laughs> but we, we had a good time working together. And I think, just to reinforce, if you're, if you're interested, if you're passionate about public policy, 
law school is a good choice, and you're going to find folks here at SIU who share that interest with you. When I was a student, um, we had there was some organic collaboration between the SIU Law and the Paul Simon Public Policy Institute. It's literally a seven-minute walk away from here. Uh, well, we formal and I've been with the institute for about three years now. Uh, we formalized a program, a legal externship, where law students will work supervised by me. I'm the only attorney in the uh, in, in the Public Policy Institute. The, uh, I'll supervise the students, and they'll work on public policy issues. Our, first student about three years ago who's now practicing law in Chicago uh, worked on a uh, paper an analyzing term limits proposal in Illinois. Uh, it was a big issue in our last gubernatorial election and this student ended up, we also hosted with other uh, civic groups in Chicago, uh, we hosted a conference that was headlined by a former governor of Illinois, Governor Edgar, and the student had the opportunity to present his research at this uh, formal event at the Union League Club of Chicago. And he also produced a paper that we published in our publication called The Simon Review, uh, which uh, the readership is, is widespread, we know, because we get calls occasionally, or actually frequently, from judges and elected officials asking uh, for more details on, on things or to get more copies. Uh, so it's a, it's a unique opportunity provided here uh, for law students. Currently, I have two students looking at Illinois' uh, budget and finance article in our met with them yesterday and they're off to a good start on uh, on a paper that I think will add something to the debate and hopefully uh, move the state in the right direction. Okay. So we'll see if we have any questions here from anyone. Okay. What would be your advice to prospective students that are considering law school right now about how to choose a law school? Well, I'll revisit the point I made in the beginning, and it's it's not just a number when you look at how much debt you're going to incur. That number um, can bury you if it's too much debt at the end, and then it could deny you the opportunity to, to, opportunity to do things that you want to do. Um, you know, there are you know some people that maybe want to come in the most lucrative area of law, and you know that they that's not going to be a factor. But also, you need to realize that the job searching the job searching is a process through law school. A lot of times, um, you'll take a job that's less lucrative to get to where you want to be after law school. So if you're even buried under that debt, and your goal is to be a, in one of those fields that is very lucrative, that might not necessarily come true no matter what law school you get. Um, that, as a like I said, I packed up and moved to California, um, it, and it was the, a good decision on my part. Yeah, uh, and I think there's a whole lot of students here that uh, that. Part of the reason they came here was that, that they want to be able to have all those options open. We have a lot of our graduates who are public defenders and state's attorneys across Illinois and in other states uh, who, who from the beginning knew that they were interested in public service for whatever reason. Uh, I always am interested in my brand new first year law students and often they'll talk about it, uh, a challenge that a family member faced that a lawyer was able to help them out. Uh, or an injustice that they really thought need to be righted. Uh, and, and they knew that getting into law school, being a lawyer, would be something that would allow them to be the person that can serve others. Uh, that's a pretty strong motivation, and we do all we can to support that here at SIU. And the clinical programs here are pretty solid as well. I know um, uh, her, uh, Sheila founded the uh, domestic violence clinic here mm -hmm. at the school, and we're currently working Paul Simon Institute is working with some other uh, law professors here to start a Veterans Legal Assistance Program, or restart it, uh, a Veterans Legal Assistance Program. Um, it's an area I've worked in uh, for a while, and it's starting to really take flight, um, and it's one of those contemporary issues of our time, is helping veterans return to civilian life. Yeah, lots of opportunity to serve, all starting here. Okay. Very good. No question? Okay, well thank you both very much, and for anyone watching who would like to learn more about SIU, just visit our website at law.siu.edu. Thank you.